This is Pete the Cat. Pete checks out the library. Pete's mom is taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own library card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There is a big desk where people wait to check out books. Pete sees some of his friends reading at the long table. It's very peaceful and quiet. Oh, how relaxing. The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. These are books of every shape, size, and color. What do I do now, says Pete. Well, now you read a book, says the librarian. Well, which book do I read? Well, you can read any book you like, says the librarian. Pete looks around. There are so many books. <clears throat> Pete picks up a book about airplanes and jets. He reads it and pretends he is a stunt pilot. He flies a super fast jet and does a loop-de-loops and swirls high in the sky. Then Pete finds a book with dragons, wizards, and unicorns on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard using magic spells and a special wand to defend the castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Next, Pete opens up a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and he imagines that he is a scientist studying all different types of critters in the wild. He has to be very still to study some of the critters and very fast to study others. Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. This is a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends he is in a dark, spooky forest trying to outsmart a big, bad wolf. Pete puts the book back on the shelf. Oh, that one was too scary. Pete opens up a book about pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends he is an explorer riding a camel across the desert and climbing to the top of a giant pyramid. Pete picks a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and he imagines he is a robot at a robot dance party. His arms and legs make a whizzing sound when he moves and Robot Pete speaks and says, bleep, bloop, bleep. Next, Pete picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and makes believe that he is a superhero. He flies around the city in a colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. Then, Pete spots a big book about the ocean and all of its creatures. He reads it and imagines he is a scientist in the submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean looking for whales, squids, and sharks. There are so many wonderful books to read at the library. Pete can be whatever he imagines with a book. Reading is super groovy. Thank you.